Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here with ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. I wanted to uh, put this video together to kind of talk about how you can become a, a better visual web designer. Um, this is speaking to someone who's in the design industry, in the web design field, and um, just wanted to give you some pointers on how you can become a better visual web designer. A lot of times I'll meet, you know, I'll work with someone and um, they'll come up with a site like this, you know. I actually just looked this up. It's called horse training, but uh, you know, it's a simple template. It's cookie cutter sort of site, um, and there's no reason why a site like this couldn't look visually appealing, such as a site like this. And all it takes is a little bit more attention to details and just studying uh, some of the imagery and nice photography from some really nice websites out there and I'm gonna give you some examples the first thing I would recommend is go to bestwebgallery.com that's one uh, that's just one of many but best web gallery is is a site that has some of the um, some really nice websites and you can go there and what I would do is just study to see what type of what type of sites that you you kind of like are attracted to and what type of sites that you like and um, so you kind of get a feel for how they how they do things the other one is uh, the FWA it's called the favorite website awards and study go here all these sites are flash based but you can go here and, and notice that all of these sites have something in common and that's that's uh, really nice imagery nice photography like really uh, uh, creative art direction in in the photography on these websites now this leads me to my next point one of the the other important things when you're designing a website is how to or, or focus on picking the right photography for your website so let's say you've gone to best web gallery and you, you've you know you took a look at a site like this and you know you were inspired by this particular site one of the things that makes this site what it is is the actual photography and the nice um, creative uh, art direction in the photography that, that kind of makes it stands out because and so when you go to ISOC photo ISOC photo has two choices if you click on over here under buy stock there's two choices here on the left there's Veta collection it's this is a new collection that they have which has some of the um, the really top top creative uh, imagery or photography out there and the dollar bin which is your your basically your standard um, your standard uh, stock photography that you normally would pick from and it's nothing wrong with the dollar bin but it's just if you really want to build a nice portfolio or kind of like take your game to the next level you might want to look into this Veta collect the, the Veta collection um, which um, which they have here and the images start at about twenty dollars or twenty credits per image but it's well worth it so like if you if you browse through and, and you find an image like this this is much more com compelling than a um, an image that you might find in the dollar bin section you know and then applying this photography to your website would actually make it stand out just a bit more one of the tips you can do here when you uh, when you search through the Veta collection is um, click this little checkbox here and then that would allow you to search within the Veta the more expensive stock photos alright so that's the other thing you know study take time to research study these different websites on the the best web gallery and the the FWA site and make sure you you focus on choosing the right photography uh, in, in a more videos I'm going to go into this in more depth but right now I just want to give you an overview of, of things that you can do um, the other thing is I would say um, pay attention to the details that's the last thing is one of the things that that makes a website stand out more so than any other website is the small details like if you look over here you have like a nice drop shadow here uh, if you look at this particular photo you have a a nice uh, mirror gradient here a nice reflection of this photo same with this one 
Now I can go on and on and on and um, you know the nice transition uh, jQuery uh, slideshow effect there that uh, that makes it stand out. If you look at the logo here, there's like a um, a texture, a paper texture in the background that makes this that gives it gives it just that extra um, um, you know some some more depth to to what you would see normally see here in just a, a regular box. Also, this particular box has a nice drop shadow. So we could spend weeks and weeks going through all the little details that makes up a really nice site and you can sort of uh, experience a lot of those sites here at the best web gallery but the point is the point is and what you want to do is just choose you know take a look at one of these sites and um, just focus on the details that that actually um, that actually makes the site stand out like in this case you see here's a here's an orange bar but then they have like a nice little a white bar and a and another darker line at the top that actually gives it more of a more more depth that uh, makes this bar stand out just a bit more you know same with the nice gradient on this little on this little ribbon effect here you know and then the font choices and things like that all these things go into making your site stand out and your portfolio stand out because more often than not, when I deal with a lot of up-and-coming web designers, you know, they spend hours and hours trying to master, you know, HTML, CSS, and they finally come up with a site like this and thinking that they've accomplished something. But at the end of the day, it's like the site looked like it's been built in the 19, in the 90s, you know. And so, I would say focus on becoming more of a better visual web designer, and then focus later on on how you can implement this site or your site using uh, using HTML and CSS. All right, so that's just a few tips I have for you today. Visit Best Web Gallery and um, or the FWA.com and go to Royal, you know, go to uh, iStock Photo for some nice royalty-free stock photos in the Veta collection and pay attention to the details. All right, you know, if um, I'll, I'll be coming out with more more um, tutorials and more more guidelines on how to do certain things uh, you know specifically but just wanted to give you a tip for today um, for more information please follow me at mlfco.com and uh, subscribe to my blog and look out for more uh, tips tricks and ideas uh, in uh, branding web design and marketing all right we'll talk soon talk later bye